All I right. have a question, Luke, I wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. um, what got you into like, getting into music? Playing music? Uh, so when I was in... Who that? The rim adds a lot. Um, I would say therapy. That was what got me into it. And I think therapy is what kept me in it. Um, I was in the 8th grade. A lot of my friends were playing guitar. Uh, my parents went through divorce. You know, I was going through the same crazy shit that kids go through when their parents are breaking up. And um, music was kind of like my, my therapy to deal with it. Yeah. Writing and playing guitar. And then I would say that's very much been why I continue playing. You know, it's not like we make a lot of money playing or anything. But it's uh, it's definitely the life therapy working through what you're going through. Like, I went through a divorce about six years ago. And our last album was very much almost like an autobiography of a snapshot of what was going on in my head. So, um, yeah, it's funny. I never, I never thought about it. It was therapy for me to get into it, and that's really how I like, kind of look at playing music. It's, it's not a, like, will you stop playing at some point? You know, I'm always going to be playing Yeah, because it's therapy. It's, I always yeah. think it's interesting to know what, what people, what made people get into music. Sometimes it's... Something that was happy or something, I guess, uh, deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, awesome. Did you, uh, you see a lot of live shows? Yeah. So, uh, went to a lot of shows as a kid, high school, college, but well, played a lot of shows in college, starting college. And then, uh, that was one of the cool things about, I guess, post divorce was, wasn't able to really get out and see my friends play. And, uh, and as soon as we split, I think I went to three shows the first weekend or something like that. To all my friends, like local friends that if I hadn't played, if I wasn't playing a show with you, like I wasn't really going to see you play because, you know, like when you're married, you've got time limits and constraints and Mario doing music, you know, I'm dedicating a couple nights a week to that. So as soon as I, uh, it's all balanced. yeah, yeah. As soon as, uh, I became single, it was, uh, you know, just like going out to as many live shows, especially the local stuff. So. Oh, hey, hit that subscribe button. Another thing I really do like to know about, uh, local artists that I meet is, have you met anyone interested? Who's the most interesting person you've ever met in terms of? up there in fame or something? Um, oh man. One to think about, right? All right, so... While you think about it... I'm gonna, no, I'm not even going to think about this. <laughs> I know this is so funny you asked me that because uh, this came up last night. We were talking about wrestlers. It has nothing to do with music. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really funny as an adult, you start looking back at things that happened in your childhood in the light of being an adult, and you're like, yeah. oh... Now that makes sense, but in a completely different way than what you thought growing up. And uh, so here's one. Um, when I was growing up, uh, my mom worked for the airlines. We traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. And we met Ric Flair in the Newark airport. And uh, he was very, very happy to take pictures with us and sign stuff. And he spent an awful a uh, large amount of time with us and I was like, man, Ric Flair really likes kids. Like, he's very friendly. And last night we were talking about this and I just, re I remember I was, Ric Flair was trying to bang my mom. Because <laughs> you know what? We all love a good MILF and Ric Flair really loves a MILF. So, uh, yeah, as a kid I grew up thinking like, oh man, Ric Flair like really liked us. No, Ric Flair was trying to bang my mom. And now it makes sense on why he spent so much time with us in the airport. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally I was I the tequila from last night is is as has is leaving my body, so I'm remembering everything's coming yeah. back. Yeah, oh, I was right. trying to remember this morning. What was a really funny thing we were talking about last night? I was crying laughing. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well that's something. But Luke, Cheers. Thanks for having me on this. Of course, man. Being here. Yeah. One more question. Maybe. That's a, that's a great drink for uh, before noon. Yeah. On Sunday.